ya un buen José Luis, pero yo no hablo en uh, español. So the rest is going to be in English. Hope you don't mind. Um, I'm going to tell um, a little bit about what Amit um, was just talking about. Um, how to use a, a framework and a child theme to be well, to create better themes, easier, um, and with a lot more options. So, uh, I'm a big fan of Genesis, and um, Genesis is a, a parent theme that allows us to build uh, very nice things. I'll show you in a bit. So again, my name is Jan Christopher. This is um, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, my company name is Forsyth Media, and um, I also have a WordPress-related blog called WP Realm. You should check it out. Um, why Genesis? Um, there's a lot of frameworks out there. There's a lot of solutions in the WordPress community that will allow you to basically do what I'm telling you to do. Um, but why do I choose uh, for Genesis? Well, the most important reason is that when using WordPress with Genesis, you are using the best practices because you are using WordPress. And because Genesis uses WordPress the way it's supposed to be used, and that gives you endless possibilities. Um, possibilities because you know, um, when you build your theme, your parent theme, like the WordPress is being built, you don't have to worry too much about breaking stuff when WordPress updates or when other plugins will also do it correctly, like Gravity Forms, for instance. Um, you don't have to worry about updates messing around with your theme. So, um, Genesis Framework, what is it exactly? Well, it's a framework, it's a powerful WordPress theme that acts as a design, security, and SEO foundation for your site. So it's basically a theme, um, and within that theme, all this is already taken care of. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already been done for you. And um, it will allow you to separate your design from your, uh, from your code, from your functionality, and will allow you to have SEO, um, part of the theme from the get-go. Um, so why specifically Genesis? Um, in my experience, and even though I've been using Genesis for the last couple of years almost exclusively, um, I do check out what the competition has to offer. Um, but in my experience, uh, Genesis gets updated quite regularly uh, and is in better sync with WordPress. Um, safety first is a big model and uh, like new WordPress functionalities are automatically added. So um, like when post formats were introduced, um, all you had to do was upgrade Genesis and all your existing themes, even if you built them two years ago, it, they will still have the ability to add post formats like they are supposed to be. Um, Best practices for SEO are already implemented and, well, stable, stable, stable. Because you want to have a framework that is stable. You, you want to create it, you want to leave it, and if you don't touch it for another year, that should be fine. And all the WordPress updates shouldn't mess around with whatever you have created. Um, child things, I meet already spoke a little bit about child themes. Um, well, Matt Mullen, like the uh, co-founder of WordPress, uh, said it very nicely. He said, child themes are the only way you should build your WordPress site on top of a framework. So, like I said, um, WordPress is built to be used like this, to be used in conjunction with the framework. Um, so, really, what does a child theme do? If the framework already has all the functionality, all the design in the very basic layout already taken care of, um, what does a child theme do? Well, 
Um, it sits on top of that framework. It handles all the design and all the layout aspects of your site. So colors, layout, topography, extra functionalities, anything you can think of that is extra um, in comparison to the default framework, that's what you do with the child theme. So you don't ever touch the code of Genesis. You look at it, you learn it, but you don't touch it, you don't change it. Um, so how to make one? Well, this is a bit of uh, repeating what Amit said, but all you have to do is create a folder inside your themes directory, put the name, create a style sheet, create a functions, PHP, file, and you know, have a cerveza. Um, what does it look like in case of Genesis? This is a um, this is actually the one you're seeing now. Is the one uh, it's publicly available. It's the one we use for WP Realm, and it's based on Genesis. And as you can see, it um, it states the normal things: theme name, URI, description, author. Uh, we added versions, but the important one is the template tag. This is Genesis. That's telling the theme that you know for all the functionality, look at Genesis, but the rest is done in the WP Realm theme. So this, this setup, this separation of framework and child theme, uh, allows us to go from this, which is the default layout of Genesis. This is how it looks. If you don't touch it, if you don't change the child theme, this is it. But you can make it look like this, which doesn't look like Genesis, doesn't look like WordPress, functions they hook in to 
places that either Genesis creates or WordPress already has created. So when you look at the HTML structure of our, uh, for instance, this one, it's clear to see what the header is. But within the header, we have uh, a top navigation and we have the normal navigation. Now, because they are functions, I can write, well, I can unhook the navigation at the place that it's currently at, which is generally just after header. And if I want to have it on top, I change that to Genesis before header. And that's two lines of code. And that's the only thing you have to change. And Genesis will take care of the rest of it. Um, so, if you look at the, um, the default layout, you'll see that when you look at the post, you'll see the sample post within the thread of comments. You see below that, you see the post info, which says, you know, it's created on September 1st, 2012 by Brian Gardner, and it has six comments. So, what if you don't want to show how many comments there are, or maybe you don't care about the date, maybe you want to have a timeless thing going on. Um, the idea is that instead of having to go to every single template file, you change the function output. So if the function output by default is post info says uh, use the post date, post time, post author, and post comments, and you just want to show uh, post author, then you uh, adjust the filter in the way that you just say, okay, whenever there is a post info output, only show the post info. Um, if you'd like to have um, extra functionality, um, like the one I showed you, the, uh, the orange uh, search button, um, you would do that just the way you would do that with your normal team. You create a library, and within that library, that's where you logically house your code. You structure it as much as possible, because that's basically keeping you sane. So what does that look like in uh, the example of, uh, of uh, WP Realm? You see that we have, in uh, on the left, you see uh, WP themes, W content themes. And you have the Genesis framework sitting on top. And at the bottom, you see the child theme of WP Realm. Now, if you look inside the library, you'll see there's a bunch of stuff going on. We have stuff that's specifically for admin. We have uh, we have custom fonts. Um, we have HTML stuff that needs to be in there. Um, we have JavaScripts. We have markup things. We have meta boxes. We have specific uh, plugins that we only use for this site. Um, and there's in this case two extra resources for sketches, which you don't normally use, but that's the way that it's set up. Um, what this does is just create a good solid code base and a good folder structure. So, what you need to properly work with WordPress is to learn about hooks, actions, and filters, because that is WordPress. You may not know it, but every single plugin that you activate is doing nothing more than this. It's manipulating, it's adding, or it's removing. But it does it through the hooks and the filters, um, and obviously the actions. So, I'm told this is how you work it. <laughs> so, to learn about hooks, actions, and filter is to learn about purpose. Should be a capital B? Of course. From. From helping. I, I can blame him. Um, but really, to know. I know a lot of people are accustomed to, you know, you want something changed on your site, and the first thing you do is you check for a plugin. And if there's a plugin found, you activate it and you're done with it. Yeah. Yeah, and some are even happy about it. Um, honestly, if you want to be a better developer, uh, 
if you want to be, um, if you want to understand what you're actually working with better, then you ought to do yourself a favor and check out the codex. Now, you may not be the best programmer, but you don't have to be. You can read. And I assume, since you're all working with WordPress and that English reading, speaking, reading, you all can read English. So checking out a codex to see what, the, what, you know, what that thing, that WordPress installation is actually doing, is actually helping you understanding better how you can manipulate um, WordPress to whatever you would like. Um, and in the end, that's going to reduce your time working with it. You learn to make quicker decisions because you know what the product actually does. So, to learn about hooks and acts and filters is to learn about Genesis, because Genesis works the exact same way. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, um, doesn't do any funny stuff, it just does what you expect it to do. It does it really smart, really fast, and really secure. So, um, just to give you an example of what a hook is that Genesis adds, there's uh, places. Genesis. 
Um, obviously, I'm, I'm one of those nifty people, but there are more. Um, so if you look at the Genesis tutorials, um, Genesis plugins, and you have uh, like Nick Croft, Bill Erickson, Gary Jones, um, those are people who do a lot, but share a lot as well. Now, when you go to GitHub, anybody have a GitHub account? Just Google for Genesis, and you'll see a lot of solutions are already out there. There's a lot of gists being used to demonstrate how you can manipulate or do things that you know you don't have to invent the code for. Um, Travis Smith uh, of WP Smith, also a very good resource on, uh, on Genesis. Now, you can actually, you have to buy Genesis. That's the only could be. You, you have to buy it because it's a premium uh, framework. But you only pay $60 once and you can use it as many times as you want for the rest of your life. So it's a very small investment. Um, but the WP Realm theme is available on GitHub for you to check out, to learn from, uh, to help improve. And um, obviously Google is your friend as well. If there's anything you'd like to do or change or want to know about Genesis, uh, you can obviously ask me. Uh, but there's a lot of room for your Google capabilities. So, um, I've tried not to go too technical, um, but I'm, you know, uh, if you have any questions, uh, technical, logical, or non-logical, or technical, happy to hear it. Ah, yeah, one more thing. Um, I've seen a lot of snippets of code being uh, uh, used here, uh, demonstrated on the big screen. Um, not only does WordPress have coding standards for PHP, it also has coding standards for, uh, for CSS. Um, I wrote a blog post about it. It may seem uh, you know, not very interesting because you know, eventually the code will do the same thing. But the more you learn to write proper code and document it and use the proper white spacing and indentation, the better readable your code becomes. And it means that something you created a year ago is more easy to pick up when it's well documented and it really you know, looks nice. Like this is something you'll see a lot, snippets like this. It says custom and you know, does whatever. But really, this, this is how WordPress dictates you should write your code. Now it's not just WordPress because it's based a lot, of, a lot on PHP tidy. It's based a lot on CSS tidy. Um, but it just makes it, your code better readable. Um, and you know what they say, code is poetry. So. Um, I thought I'd share this one with you because, you know, um, I'm, I'm assuming you are all here to want to improve yourself. Um, and this might be a small step, but it could have a huge impact. Um, I, I know people who write beautiful code in what it does, but you can't read it because there's no, there's, you know, there's no, no story telling what it does. And if you read this, you can see what it does, you can read what it does. Um, you know, it's, it's not a mystery anymore. And you're helping out other programs who are starting. Questions?
instead of any other kind of framework, and you have just one sentence, like another way of pitch, what would it be? One sentence to explain why to use Genesis over other? Yeah. Wow. Can I use small sentence within the sentence? <laughs> you could try. Um, it's the framework that allows you to create the most solid, fast, good, solid uh, themes with the least amount of time. Allowing you with a lot of flexibility and a little bit of time to, to actually create it. There's, because so much is inside the library of Genesis, so many help functions, so many logic, it just, you know, um, if you spend half a day learning the library, you'll see what it does and how it can make your life easier. I've had friends who are uh, more PhD programs than WordPress programs. Um, with a little bit of convincing, ask the next project, you know, try Genesis, and after six, five, six hours, you go like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you have to let go. If, if you're a good programmer, you have kind of have to let go that you know that your code is the best. There's 15 people working on this, looking at it constantly, making it better. So, 15 eyes is always better than one. Uh, Mark Jacob did security review. You know, to me, that says that the code was good, and that the code after that was even better. Not one sentence, but Not so I, I, I did my best. Thank you. You're
some general stuff. Uh, it'll have, you know, um, which the child themes there are. So if I click on the tutorial specifically, you'll see a list of, you know, there's a beginner's manual, uh, download the sample theme, and video tutorials. It's basic. There's, there's so much information. It's, you don't need it all to understand and work with it, but you know, you'll, you'll, you'll come across something new and you wonder, can I do this with Genesis? Well, yes, you can, but you might need to learn what I do with things, actually. Yeah. Hi, thank you for your presentation. Um, I would like to know, it seems to me that Genesis is more uh, framework to work for the front end. So, the, the question would be, is there is extra functionalities uh, added by Genesis the yeah. uh, custom post type, things like that, have been or overall in the WordPress uh, functionalities. It, 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 it adheres to the normal WordPress uh, code, so... I mean, if you have, uh, uh, when you are developing a child theme with uh, Genesis, you can have uh, custom post types, so yeah. there are some yeah. kind of, I mean, this is the standard WordPress ones, but yeah. Genesis uh, gives Every more functionalities uh, regarding custom post types or whatever yeah. other Anything that you normally want, want to do with WordPress, you can do in Genesis. Uh, but for instance, uh, Genesis has a, a settings API. It has a, uh, you know, a lot of different ways to help you create a proper theme in the sense that you know, I find this is what it is and you can do with it and play with it. Uh, yeah. Can you show the, the tabs in WordPress VR? When you are in WordPress VR, Just looks like it is 